I'm Mike Proctor and today we're talking about strengths and blind spots of companies. Businesses so often start out of passion for a mission or purpose within the marketplace by an owner or owners. And what winds up happening with startup companies is those companies inherently take on the strengths and blind spots of whoever started it. I'll just use our company for example, at Leading Edge Financial Planning. Um, my biggest blind spot was marketing. And it also was the biggest thing holding our company back is because People have to understand how we operate, how we work, uh, what the process is, how they become a client, what we do for them. And we inherently were not well gifted in that area. And so we really didn't even know what we didn't know. Now, as that applies to other companies, uh, your company uh, may be really good in the legal side or the business operations side, especially if you're in manufacturing, maybe really good at operations, but there may be other areas of core competency that are lacking. Leadership, strategy, sales, marketing, operations, people component, legal and finance. Inherently, every company has strengths and weaknesses within that lineup. And it's really hard to be balanced as a company without understanding how to score those different areas of competence. So that is a really important function of how we help with companies when we meet with them on what's called the value opportunity profile. Uh, that is a very comprehensive assessment that goes real deep into each function of the different departments. We score even those functions within departments on a sliding scale. So you get a very accurate view of just how strong or how weak those different functions are. Intuitively, we all know that we've got strengths and weaknesses, but the reality is what we probably don't fully appreciate until we see it right in front of us is just how much our strengths can shape how our companies operate and function and underappreciate how much our blind spots are holding the company back or even setting up for a future failure. An example of how a weakness would set a company up for failure when they're very imbalanced is, let's say you have somebody leading the company that is really good at sales. They can go out and get the business really, really fast, but the management of the company hasn't been fully fleshed out on the operation side to keep things organized, to actually execute on what's being sold and delivering on contracts that are being set up. So that's where if you get this huge influx of orders and you don't have enough resources to deliver on it, you can get your, your company in trouble because you can't deliver on the promises you've been making. There's all kinds of combinations of issues that can arise from different strengths and weaknesses within that, but those eight core business competencies are critical areas of business function. Another example could be that within the legal side, you don't have a contract very well identified so that you, the company, winds up being, bearing all the risk in a financial transaction and it gives every right for the other company to back out whenever they feel like, leaving you high and dry. It is critical to know that your company is well balanced within the eight core business competencies for you and that it doesn't just reflect your strengths and blind spots, but a well-rounded team is there and your company has the awareness to deliver in all eight areas. I'm Mike Proctor with Leading Edge Growth. We're here to help your company reach its highest potential. Reach out at 316-330-9300.